once again to my channel English Made Easy with Mandeep and today I have come up with a very beautiful poem written by Marcus Nathan from the Hornbill book of class 11 and the name of the poem is Childhood. In this poem actually the poet is asking a question to himself. He is uh, wanting to know where his childhood has gone actually that where did his childhood go he is uh, uh, wanting this answer from himself he wants to know that where is that innocence gone where is those childhood days of mine gone so he is asking a question to himself and then he is replying also he is asking a question as well as replying himself to him right so let us see what the poem is all about when did my childhood go? Now the very first line begins with a question. The poet is asking a question that when did my childhood go? What was that particular time period when I can say this to everyone that this was the particular time when my childhood was no more. Means I was no more a child and I had stepped into adolescence. Right? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Now he is... Uh, making some presumptions okay he is just asking himself and giving a reply also that was it the day when I seized seized means stopped when I was not 11 rather I was more than 11 years old was it that day when I lost my childhood then again he says was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography now again he is questioning himself and giving the answer that was was it that particular day when I realized the fact that whatever is told to me that there is something like hell or there is something like heaven earlier I would feel that hell and heaven existed somewhere in this world but now I realize that hell and heaven are not there there is nothing called hell, there is nothing called heaven and none of my geography teachers are teaching me about hell and heaven. None of the geography books are having the concept of hell and heaven. Although all the countries of the world, all the planets, all the things are there. But then nowhere in my geography book I hear or I see that there is a mentioning of hell and heaven kind of a thing. So that means now he is giving, now he is becoming rationalized. He is thinking by his mind. He is coming to some decision. He is uh, becoming decisive that whether hell and heaven, which are the two things which have been told to me many times by my parents or I have come to know through various fairy tales which might have been told to him, hell and heaven, concept of hell and heaven might have been there. But now I realize that this thing is not there. This is something false. It is, there. It, it is falsification. There is no thing called hell. There is no thing called heaven in this world. So was it the time when I became so rational that I could decide that no, this is wrong. This is not there in my books. And I started believing that whatever is given in my books is right. And whatever was told to me earlier about hell and heaven is not whatever is not there in the books whatever is not there in the text is actually not existing so he is becoming rationalized he is thinking little logically so he is asking his uh, himself that was it that particular time when i started thinking on my own that this is right and this is wrong was it that time was it that time when i realized that these things called hell and heaven being told to me many many times by many people and i come across this hell and heaven kind of things they did not exist in my geography book so that means these things are not there so maybe that was the time when i lost my childhood and therefore could not be was that the day now he is inquiring that was that the day when I lost my childhood. Now coming to the second stanza. When did my childhood go? Once again the poet is asking a question. The same question which he had asked in the very first stanza. 
see i am scrolling it and you can see see twice it has been written when did my childhood go in the first stanza also and in the second stanza also it has begun with the same thing when did my childhood go so here uh, the poetic device which has been used in this particular line is called refrain you must have heard of refrain uh, refrain is actually uh, the repetition of a line okay after uh, it, after regular intervals in a poem uh, basically refrain is used as a um, as that particular line which is giving uh, the whole the whole theme of the poem is actually based on this uh, refrain you must have read of that poem uh, the brook and in that poem also there was a repetition of two lines men may come and men may go but i go on forever that was related to the river so there also every time the poet was talking of the river again and again so there also it was refrain and here also when the poet is repeating when did my childhood go is stressing upon it he is actually wanting to get an answer to this question that when did my childhood go what was that particular time when my childhood went so here just my, noted that it is the poetic device is refrain r e f r a i n refrain so now we move ahead when did my childhood go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seem to be now now the poet is saying that was it that time when i realized that all the adults my elders who are who were elder to me they were hypocrites whatever they said they did not themselves followed all those things like it is written they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly now he is saying that all my uh, elders who were elders to me maybe his parents his relatives his is elder brother sister whosoever or his grandparents it has not been made clear that who whom he is talking about so here we can just think that the elders means his his, uh, his family members so they he is saying that the time when i realized that whatever my parents preached me is whatever my parents taught me or told me every time they would say that you should be polite you should love everyone okay we are human beings and humans should love a human so when uh, these things were taught to me but when i see that in their actions in their deeds the same thing is missing it is not this that my parents are following the same Uh, uh feelings of brotherhood they are following the same feelings of compassion and kindness and love for all love for humanity they are not doing it that way they are not like that they are hypocrites so was it that particular time the day when i could think logically on my own that whatever my parents are teaching me is not being followed by my parents right so that's why he said they talked of love and preached of love okay but did not act so lovingly they themselves did not act in the same way was that the day now again he is confirming that was that the day when i realized that my childhood is no more now i am no more an innocent child why because now i have come to know that whatever is taught by my parents whatever is taught by the elderly people of my family or my relatives or my other elder brother sister whosoever now they were not following the same thing whatever they were teaching me okay so now again you you just have a look at this particular line was that the day now you see in the first stanza also was that the day is repeated and here also was that the day is repeated so as i had told you that there is refrain in the in uh, in the line when did my childhood go so in the same way there is refrain in this particular line also was that the day so refrain is there in two lines one is when did my childhood go and the second is was that the day now we come to the third stanza again the poet is saying when did my childhood go he is again asking he is again wanting to get, know the answer to this question he wants to uh, come to this realization that i want to know when exactly my childhood 
faded away when exactly my childhood vanished when exactly i slipped from the age of innocence from the age of childhood and put my feet into adolescence now again he's saying when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose now he is again telling that was it he is asking a question to himself that was it that particular time when i realized when i became an adult and when i realized that i, I when i can have my own stand in my life i can think in my own way i can act in my own way i can take my own decisions i can i know what is right for me and what is wrong for me right so was it that particular time when i can say that i lost my childhood because now then i became so independent earlier i was dependent on my parents i was dependent on my elders whatever they told me whatever they taught me i behaved in that way but now because i have grown up now i know which is the right way and which is the wrong way which is the right path which is the wrong path for me in my life and now i have realized it so maybe this is the time when i can say that i have lost my childhood producing thoughts that were not those of other people now i'm saying that my mind is producing those thoughts which are not guided by the others i am also not thinking in the same way as my parents want me to think i have my own level of thinking i think in my own way i have started taking decisions on my own i have become so very independent i have become a different individual on my own i have my own identity now this was the time when he realized that now i have become independent i am an independent individual i have started taking my own decision now i am no more even neither a child not an adolescent now i am my own i am independent i have my own individuality in this world okay now i can i know what is right for me and what is wrong for me so maybe this is the time when i have lost my childhood now i am when i am no i was no more uh, a, a small innocent a person who was dominated by his family members whatever his family member said he abided by it okay so this is the particular time when i have lost my childhood so he is inquiring about it now we come to the last stanza here the question changes earlier he was wanting to know when what was that particular time period when my childhood went away flew away okay but now the question has changed from when to where now he is inquiring where is that particular place where my childhood has gone i don't know where my childhood is okay earlier he was wanting to know when my childhood went the time and now he is talking of the place so he is talked of he is uh, questioned two things one is the place where my childhood went and one is the time where my childhood when my childhood went so now we are talking of the place that where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place now he is saying that my childhood has gone to some forgotten place means in the lost memories in the past memories of mine because childhood is such a thing uh, that cannot be brought back we cannot relive it right it cannot be brought back so the time which is gone is gone forever right so this is what the poet is trying to say that it went to some forgotten place means it has gone to a very far off place far off place means which is not there now which cannot be even if i feel like bringing my childhood even if i feel like bringing my innocence back it is it is not possible at all okay so that is hidden in an infant's place infant's face now he is replying now he uh, he asked a question where did my childhood go and then he gave the answer that it has gone to some forgotten place it has gone into my lost memories okay memories of my past childhood and now that is hidden in an infant's face now the poet says that that particular innocence okay that sweetness is hidden in the face of a small child and if i want to relive my childhood i will have to have some infant in my life some child in my life maybe my own child when i'll have when i'll when i'll bear kids 
and I'll have my own child. Maybe in the face of my own child, I will relive my childhood. I will feel that how innocent my innocence was there in my childhood, and the same is there in my child's childhood. Okay, so this is what the poet is talking about in this poem. So he asked two questions. When did my childhood go? And he gave up some rational uh, answers to it, some logical answers to it, that maybe it, it went away when I realized logically that it is no hell, no heaven is there. Then secondly, he again asked a question to himself and then he is answering it that maybe uh, when I realized that my parents or the elderly who, keep, who kept on dominating my life, dominating my ideas, my thoughts, even they are hypocrites. They preach something else and they do something else. Their actions and their preachings are totally different from each other. So then the third, answer, the third time he asked a question and he replies that the time when I became an independent person, an independent individuality, maybe that is the time that I lost my childhood. And the fourth time he asked a different question about a place. Where did my childhood go? Okay. So he the childhood went into. Uh, the childhood is now gone. You can see your childhood. You can feel your childhood. In, in the form of a small infant. In the face of the small infant. That same innocence can be seen. Which was there when this poet was a small child. So I hope you all must have understood the poem. Although I have written, you can see that I have written stanza wise, stanza 1, 2, 3 and 4. I have written stanza wise explanation, my own interpretations of this poem. Okay. And uh, please go through the last three lines. I have interpreted it in two ways. See, the first, the poet claims that his childhood is nothing more than a long lost memory means which is lost as i already told you he recalls his infancy and believes that his true childhood resides there so he is recalling his infant time and he is memorizing it that uh, how innocent i was so that was the real childhood that i have uh, i was in when i was a small child so it resides there in that infant's face and that innocence cannot resurface in his lifetime yes and that innocence cannot be brought back in his lifetime now his childhood is a past thing which cannot be brought back into his life once again because the days which are gone are gone for ever so the second interpretation which i feel is the poet believes that his childhood has become nothing more than a memory for him but has become the reality of some other infant although it is a memory for him but it is a reality for, for some other child for some other infant for some other small baby in whose face in whose actions and deeds i can see i can feel that same innocence which i was also having once i was a small child Innocence is a cyclic process. See, innocence means childhood. So one, when you are a child, then you grow up and then you bear kids and then again the same process goes on and on and on. Okay, so innocence is a cyclic process where lost from one person, it travels to another. For example, it has lost from, uh, from, the, from the life of the poet. So it goes into the life of the poet's child. So it is like this. It goes on and on. Like your parents, okay, they have lost their childhood, but they saw their childhood in your childhood. They could feel their childhood days in your childhood. So the same the poet is trying to tell us. Thus, till date, adults can easily recall and seem to almost relive their own childhood through an infant in their lives. Okay, it means your kids, your children. Okay. Poetic device, I have already told you. There are some question and answers which I have jotted down. Okay, you can just go through it because these are very, very important questions which are there. So, uh, I hope you must have understood this poem. And if you have really understood and comprehended it, then please do subscribe my channel. And do not forget to press the bell icon because otherwise you will not be able to get the notifications of my upcoming videos. Uh, thank you.